Hi. Today I'd like to discuss the underlying theology of Wicca. So people often say, and just about every beginner book on Wicca that you see out there will tell you that Wicca worships a god and a goddess, and that implies that Wicca is duotheist. And if you look at the most Wiccan liturgy, it tends to refer to um, all the goddesses as if they were one goddess and all the gods as if they were one god. Now, just because the liturgy does a particular thing doesn't mean that you necessarily have to believe the same as the liturgy. Um, thankfully, there is no Wiccan pope. Uh, and nobody applying for the job. Uh, there is no Wiccan Inquisition. So, you know, the liturgy might say one thing, but you can believe whatever you like, in my opinion. So, uh, well, within reason, obviously. Um, so uh, I've spoken in other videos about the underlying impetus behind pagan theology. Um, for example, the idea that life is good and to be celebrated. Um, and I think that that is a given. Uh, I also think that it helps, it's not, not necessary, but it helps if you believe in energies, or at least in the transformative power of ritual, because um, otherwise, why would you be doing Wiccan rituals, right? Uh, so yeah, you can get away without believing in energy, I think. Um, but uh, the transformative power of ritual is kind of important otherwise you'd be like why am I doing these rituals um, and um, I think that with the theological underpinning um, is the idea that divinity however you conceive of divinity can take many forms including female uh, forms and as to whether you believe in female energy and male energy, um, you know, that's kind of a moot point. Um, I think there are many different ways to, um, to understand pagan theology. And I don't think that it's necessary to be a duotheist to practice Wicca. Um, I myself practiced Wicca quite happily as an atheist for many years. Um, I'm now a polytheist and I'm still practicing Wicca quite happily as a polytheist. I know people who take a monist view. Um, so monism is the idea that there is one underlying energy in the universe um, or possibly one divine source and that from that divine source, everything else springs forth. Um, I know other polytheists. I know people who say, well, I don't really know. And, you know, if you ask them to pick a theology, they'll say all of the above. Um, I know animist Wiccans. Um, I would regard myself as an animist as well as a polytheist. Um, and the way to make that work within Wicca um, is to say that the horned god and the moon goddess are patron deities of the craft. Um, now, in my rituals and those of most other British Wiccans that I know, um, we don't restrict ourselves to only communicating with the horned god and the moon goddess. Um, there are many deities that people will make rituals for. So you don't have to stick to just those two. Um, I think it's worth also thinking about the concept of the Drichten, um, which is the underlying divine source of all things, um, which has no gender and includes all genders. Uh, I think it's worth thinking about non-binary deities um, because I'm non-binary and I find the concept of non-binary deities really, really helpful. Um, and also that we can have a much richer liturgy and tradition if we include other deities in what we do. Uh, and if we form relationships with those deities, like real meaningful relationships, um, 
I find it a bit bizarre when people try to conflate um, different deities together that are from completely different cultures. Um, because if you have, um, I don't know, um, like Carly and, I don't know, Bridget, how are they part of the same entity? I mean, they're distinct identities. They are distinct beings. I cannot make Carly and Bridget part of the same entity. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, another one of my pet peeves is people saying that um, Kununos is the same as the dying and resurrecting harvest god. It's like, no, Kununos is the god of the forests and the dying and resurrecting harvest god is a god of agriculture. Those are two completely different things. So I cannot see how they can be the same person. That makes no sense to me. Um, I also dislike this whole business of um, making, forcing a story, a relatively modern made up story of the god and the goddess into the template of the wheel of the year. Um, you know, let's get a bit more creative than that, people. Um, and I particularly dislike this idea that Beltane is when um, the god chases the goddess around the forest and um, and she's going, no, no, no. And he's going, oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, you know, it like just offends me on the grounds of lack of consent and the assumptions that makes about women's sexuality and so many other levels, it's just offensive. So there are so many, <laughs> there are so many reasons why, um, you know, being a polytheist Wiccan is just more consonant with reality and more fun and just better in every way. Um, I mean, also the fact that there are multiple deities with multiple different gender expressions is also really important to me. So, um, you know, I think you can have pretty much any theology um, that's, that's life affirming within Wicca. Um, you can be a polytheist, you can be an atheist, you can be a pantheist, you can be a duotheist if you really want, um, you can be a monist, um, you know, pretty much anything will work. Uh, the key is that you respect the theology, theological perspectives of the other people in the circle. Um, and like I said, it kind of helps if you believe in energy, but, you know, you can get away without doing that. Um, and, uh, you know, and animists also uh, fit within Wicca. Um, so I'm not really sure why all the books for beginners insist that we are a duo theist religion um, because they're not actually doing anyone any favours. Uh, and I get, you know, when I used to write uh, a lot about polytheism, I would regularly get people saying, oh, but you can't be a polytheist if you're a Wiccan because your liturgy is, is duo theist. I'm like, well, yes, yeah, some of the older stuff is duo theist, but you know, we also write our own stuff. And I can assure you that when I write my own stuff, it's polytheist. Um, like, I, uh, you know, I find it odd, this idea that we, you know, obviously we're very fond of the traditional material and we incorporate it into our rituals a lot. Um, but it doesn't end there. There is more that can be created. So I hope that's cleared that up and, um, you know, take, be whatever theology, theological perspective you like, as long as it's life affirming and joyful and um, have a nice day and blessed be.